In this video, I'll quickly explain each of the main types of oscillator-based synthesis and give examples of each. Subtractive synthesis utilizes filters to alter the frequency spectrum of the signal, so you can morph and modulate the sound to your liking. Most classic subtractive synths will have multiple oscillator waveforms you can pick from to generate sound, with sine, triangle, square, and sawtooth waves being the most common. And then you can utilize various filters to modulate these sounds. Technically, any synthesizer with a filter, which is most of them, is applying subtractive synthesis. But some classic examples of this are the ES2 and its two filters, and the retro synth and its single filter. Additive synthesis involves summing multiple waveforms together to create a more complex textured sound. A sine wave on its own is fairly simple, but layer multiple sine waves together at different frequencies, and you can synthesize various harmonics in the signal for a more complex tone. Additive synthesis is perhaps the oldest form of synthesis, with its roots in classic electric organs. This is Logic's vintage B3 organ. Here you have multiple stops, each of which controls the level of a different tone at a different pitch in the harmonic series. The more harmonics added, the more complex the tone. Now, technically, you could say that any synthesizer that has multiple oscillators that you can layer together is using additive synthesis. But the term additive synthesis typically refers to instruments that layer together sine waves to create various different harmonics like organs do. Wavetable synthesizers differ from analog style synths in that they offer more complex waveforms to pick from rather than just the four main oscillator waveforms. So you end up with a much more complex starting signal that you can apply modulation to. And in many cases, you can morph the shape of the waveforms right from the oscillator section. Examples of wavetable synths in Logic include the table mode in RetroSynth, and even the ES2 has a set of 99 complex waves that you can pick from in addition to the main four oscillator waveforms. Frequency modulation synthesis, often called FM synthesis for short, involves modulating the pitch of an oscillator with another oscillator, similar to how you'd use an LFO to modulate an oscillator's pitch to create vibrato. But instead of the modulator being an LFO, or a low frequency oscillator, you can use an oscillator within the audible range. Here that vibrato now turns into an audible effect that morphs the signal into something new. An example of an FM synth in Logic is the EFM1. In FM synthesis, oscillators are generally called operators. The modulating operator is called the modulator, and the affected operator is called the carrier. The EFM1 is quite a simple FM synth in that it only has two operators, the modulator on the left and the carrier on the right. RetroSynth also has an FM mode, which models the classic sounds from the Yamaha DX line of synthesizers. Physical modeling synthesis attempts to model the physics of real-world objects, for example, Sculpture is a physical modeling synth in Logic that models the characteristics of a string. This includes four different materials, nylon, steel, wood, and glass. And you might be thinking, there's no such thing as a wooden or glass string. Well, that's the cool thing about physical modeling synthesis. It's not a real world sample. You can take the physics of the instrument and apply it in ways that are not possible in the real world. Analysis resynthesis uses a series of filters to learn the harmonic content of a sound and then resynthesize that sound using oscillators. 
The most common examples of AR synthesis are vocoders. Even Logic's simple Evoc 20 is capable of this. Evoc 20 can analyze a sidechain input signal in real time, filter it, then blend the filtered signal with an oscillator using various envelopes to produce speech synthesis. So that's it for the main six oscillator-based synthesis types. In the next video, I'll talk more about sample-based synthesis.